you. I miss you. Welcome to Horrorverse, my name is Cody Hawk, and today we're going to be talking about It Chapter 2, directed by Andy Musiski. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Starring James McAvoy, um, Bill Hader, and Bill Skarsgård returning as Pennywise. Um, now, I would say this is probably the most um, anticipated horror movie that's going to come out this year, hands down. Um, because of how much everyone loved Chapter 1 and how big Stephen King's It is still today. I mean, so everyone, most people know, at least have heard of it. Um, and for me, being someone who loved Part 1, I did a review for it just a couple days ago. I'll link that in the description below. Was it worth it to me, the wait? Um, not, not really. I mean... There's a lot of, I mean, I guess I wouldn't say there's a lot, but there's a few problems in this movie, but they're big problems, I guess you could say. So I guess I'll go ahead and get the bad out first, and then we'll go to the good, which, sadly to say, there's not that much good. Now, it's kind of confusing, because when I say that, I still enjoy the movie. I still like watching it, but you'll kind of understand as I discuss this. So the movie is extremely long, and I don't have a problem with long movies. I watch them all the time. Um, but this movie is pushing two, almost three, or almost three hours. And, I mean, uh, that's one of the longest horror movies that I can think of. I mean, I'm sure there's other ones, but that's definitely one of the longest. And that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing if they had enough movie to fill that and keep you interested. The problem is they don't. This movie is a very basic plot. Um, it's a plot we've seen multiple times, we've seen in other horror movies, and we've seen in the book and the 90s TV series get the adults from um, wherever they've moved to, this 27 year gap, get them all back to Derry, and get them to Pennywise. That's it. Now somehow that very basic plot, they've expanded to two hours, two hours and 45 minutes, which is crazy. And you know, if they had enough to put in that, that was there for a reason, it wouldn't bother me. But most of this movie, there's no point in it. Like, there's a lot of things in it that didn't need to be in there. They could have easily cut out probably an hour, at least, of this movie. Um, and that's the biggest gripe I have, honestly, is just the lack of plot. I mean, it's just pointless. Um, because, like I said, you have a very... Well, I guess I didn't say that yet, but you have a very brief description, or you see, you see small pieces of their life now, you know, you see where they went, where they're living at, what they've become now, if there's, you know, them being successful, and it seems like most of them are. Um, and then they get the phone call, they come back to Derry, and then it dives into that plot. That's really about it. Um, you get a couple side plots that I felt were, were, were complete, honestly completely irrelevant, because you find out that in the movie it didn't even matter anyways. Like, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's a good 30 minutes, 45 minutes of this movie that some things happen, and they get to the end, and it wasn't. It was pointless. It had no relevance, honestly. Like, so that's the kind of stuff. I, f I feel like they wanted to do their own way, but then also wanted to add things from the books, which they did do. Um, but they didn't know how to find that middle between you know their own thing and the book. So instead, they just kind of threw everything together and saw what stuck. Um, and that's really upsetting. Cause like I said, I love the first part, and and it's weird to say, but even with all these complaints. I still enjoyed it. I still was completely drawn to the movie screen the whole time we was watching it. Um, but I think that is mainly because of the acting. Everybody in this movie did amazing. There was no bad actors in this movie. I did not think. I loved everybody. Um, Bill Hader. Um, I had never seen him in anything before. I know, I've heard his name, but I've never seen him. And he was great. Which, I mean, Richie's always been my favorite character in the book and other TV series. So, I mean, that helped. But he was great. He was really good comic relief. Um, he really pointed out some like cliche things, you know, that's in horror movies. He points them out in the movie, which is funny. Um, James McAvoy is always amazing, and that wasn't different in this movie. And then obviously uh, Bill Skarsgård is Pennywise. Great. I mean, he's probably better in this one than he was in the first one. Um, so the acting is phenomenal, but that's really all this movie had, in my personal opinion, is the acting. If they would have cast someone different for these, this movie, I would have hated it. I mean, I don't know how well it would have went, you know, critic-wise, but I would not have enjoyed it if they didn't have some of these actors because they are who made this. I mean, you really believed that they were the same kids. 
you really believe that you're watching some of the same people and some of the ad casting was even spot on for resemblance like they looked so close to their uh, kid counterpart it was it was crazy um, you really felt that even with this 27 year gap though when they got together they were still best friends they were still the losers club you really felt that and that's what kept this moving going was more the concern for these characters because even though you know like I said I've read the book watched the movie the old movie I knew what was going to happen more or less you know I knew what kind of I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't, but I knew the root of what's going to happen in this movie. I knew some of the things that was going to happen, and it did happen, and that's what I thought. And But I was still concerned. Like, when it happened, I was still upset. I was still like, oh my god, you know, I love this character. Um, but that's really it. Like I said, Pennywise did great. Um, the CGI was a little weird. Um, I can't go much into that without spoiling anything. But there's some creatures that Pennywise, is, you know, Pennywise, you know, shows them or whatever you, um, that were really out there, and I don't think there's any way to make them look good because of what they were. So the CGI being bad on that, you know, you can't help that. That's just how it's going to be. Um, and that was really the only time it was bad. Like when Pennywise, everything they they did with him was really good, CGI wise and practical effect wise. That was great. Um, but like I said, I really, the actors and the characters are what held this movie together, in my opinion. If it wasn't for them, I mean, I would have probably fell asleep. <laughs> I mean, just be honest. Um, and I mean, that's really about it to say about this movie. I mean, if you like the original, or if you like the first one, you'll like this one, I think. I think you'll still enjoy the part two. Um, but if you didn't, I don't see any way you would enjoy this, because it's nowhere near as good as part two. Maybe my, or part one in my opinion um, and I believe I gave part one I think I gave it an 8 out of 10 and honestly originally I was going to say you know well I'll give this one a 7 just slightly below part one but really after doing the video and you know saying all this out loud I think I'm going to go with a 6 out of 10 I mean I really thought it was just a little bit worse than the first one but after hearing all this you know out loud I don't think it is I think it's a lot worse than the part one I, I think it's a six out of ten which is really upsetting because I was so excited about this movie but I mean there's nothing you can do about it you know I mean they did what they could do without you know adding in some of the crazy things from the book like some flying turtles and all this other crap um, so I mean they did the best they could I just wish the movie wasn't been so long because then I wouldn't have the complaint of pointless scenes added and I mean, without that, it probably would have been a lot better. Um, but it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, but I would recommend going to see it. If you like the first part, I think you'll enjoy this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I'll see you guys on the next one.